Hello everyone, welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms live stream. I am Royal Mix Gaming, and in this stream we're going to go ahead and spin and max this Joan of Arc Prime Wheel. And then we're also going to go ahead and craft some legendary equipment, see what we're kind of doing on this account as I'm on my, my second account here. I need to go ahead and adjust the audio real fast. It's a little bit loud for me. So, there we go. But we're going to go ahead and start spinning the wheel here in just a second. But main reason I want Joan of Arc on this account is because this is a CAV account. We're going to basically go ahead and craft probably the cavalry attack set piece in this stream. And then we'll see if we have enough materials to go ahead and craft the pants again. But if we don't have enough, we'll craft another pair of boots. Because I'm wanting to upgrade this set up. Excuse me. I want to upgrade this set to at least full epics with slight legendaries in it and then basically graduate this set with full legendaries and put another pair of pants on one of my other marches. I haven't decided yet which uh, march Joan of Arc is going to go with, but we'll go ahead and start spinning here and see if we can't figure that out. Unfortunately, probably not going to be able to test like whether or not she... like how good she is right now because a lot of the fighting right now isn't happening in this KVK because it's a lot of it's a it's a desert KVK in this kingdom so we're just gonna have to deal with that right now but we went ahead and got I think two heads on this one so I have not unlocked Joan of Arc yet this is the first few spins so we'll see what we can get here I'm hoping to get you know at least one eight spot obviously more than one's great but more heads we get the better obviously I have somewhere around 600 heads to go ahead and do um, some of my commanders. I'm thinking of doing something like, doing like a 5-5-5-1 five, 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 Honda, same thing with Scipio, and then kind of trying to figure out Joan a little bit later. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do that like now, or if I'm gonna wait a little bit, because this KVK is not a lot of fighting, and I hope they kind of understand that in this kingdom that we're not going to get a lot of kills when it's just pass fighting in this Desert Conquest KVK. So we went ahead and got two more gold heads on this one, so that's pretty good. At least I get a couple heads per five spin and I'm happy. Eight spot would be amazing, but we'll go ahead and see what we get here. One universal is decent. It always teases you with that eight spot, I always know it does that. But two gold heads is pretty pretty good on this spin, I think that's all I'm going to get which is decent. So we'll go ahead and do another five spin, see what we get here. Building speed ups are always the worst thing on the board. Another Joan of Arc head, got some food, and we'll see if we get anything else here, but didn't get anything else. I did figure out what the problem was with the stream last week, because we may go ahead and watch a little bit of 254 KVK if there's anything going on between now and reset because I'm gonna spin as many as I can here in the next you know, 20 minutes, and then we'll spectate a little bit of KVK, and then we'll spin again for the Joan of Arc wheel when it hits reset, and then once we're finished with the wheel, we'll go ahead and craft the legendary equipment because I need to get it done, and I need to just keep improving my cavalry sets because I'm gonna do at least three marches of cavalry. I haven't decided if I'm gonna be doing more than that, but that is kind of the plan so far. And let me see about the music. It was playing. Yeah, it's still playing. It's just finishing off that last song. So keep spinning here. I only got two gold heads so far on this spin, but I'm gonna keep going here. It always teases you with that eight spot, I tell you. But yep, goes right around it. <laughs> Always right around it, but definitely gonna probably do Joan of Arc 5515 because I think her third skill is not very exciting and I don't have the heads to max a just okay commander because I think she's kind of similar to William where you really don't need to max her out if you're not a obviously like a big whale or something like that so. Got one, two heads so far on this spin. Three heads is probably the best spin so far, unfortunately. <laughs> no eight spot yet, so. 
go ahead and see if we can get any more heads here. You guys will have to let me know um, if this audio is okay and stuff like that because I kind of messed with my audio a little while ago and I may have messed it up a little bit, but I think it's probably doing okay as far as I can tell. So we went ahead and got four on this one, which is half an eight spot. So it's not too bad. So keep going here. We're on our last 15 spins. And then we'll go ahead and see if there's anything going on in KVK and then kind of go from there. Another Joan of Arc head. I'm hoping that we get a better KVK in 2000 here pretty soon. I know we're supposed to register right away. One gold head's not very, very good, but it's okay. I know in 216 on my main account, we're we'll be registering for KVK on the next pop-up within like the next probably week, week and a half. So should have some KVK content coming here pretty soon, which is pretty good. Didn't get any heads on this one, which is the worst spin so far. But we got one more five spot and we'll end that, those five spins. More building speed ups that I don't need, more research speed ups that I don't need. Still didn't get an eight spot in these 60 some spins, so this might be a pretty bad spin too. One gold head's a pretty bad spin. So we'll go ahead and see how many gold heads that we got in these 60 spins here. But we'll go ahead and do that first before we go ahead and collect her um extra ones so we went ahead and got actually only 15 from the 60 spins we did which is just just okay it's not very good we will um i may wait a little bit to go ahead and summon her because i'd like to be able to if i'm going to be on here for a little while i want to make sure that i can get the bundle that pops up without having any issues so i'll wait a little bit to summon her just because of that reason but we'll go ahead and grab these chests here as we got some extra rewards here. So we'll go ahead and check the, I also grabbed the March X, don't we? 254 KVK and see what's going on there. I know there's been some Joan of Arc rallies and things like that. I actually do have a report to show you here in a second that somebody shared to me last night my time which is like around this time period um that was a Joan of Arc and Nevsky rally on the level seven or eight pass in Kingsland here which I'm going the wrong way so it was on this pass which they still haven't taken they're still sitting at this pass there was a rally on this pass and we'll go ahead and see no it was actually not on this account so we'll go ahead and I'll show you that that report here in a minute here. I'll go ahead and swap over to my other account, but we'll go ahead and see if there's anything going on here. I know that TR, go ahead, unsimplified graphics, has pretty much pushed out this side over here. I don't know the kingdoms exactly on this king, this KVK. Um, they've pushed pretty much this purple all the way back to the pass as well. I'm gonna assume this flag is most likely highly contested or burning. It is burning. Seems like there's not a whole lot going on right now since I think it's peaks downtime. And if their king is bubbled, it's pretty much their downtime. But that is their, that is the new archer skin, which is pretty nice to see. So are they, no, that's going to be purple. So they build the flag here. So there's still some fighting over here with TR, but I think it's kind of the, last bits of fighting in this KVK where they're just kind of TPing out and things like that. Just doing like Pakal Heralds and stuff like that. So we have about 10, 15 minutes to kill here. So we'll go ahead and watch this KVK for a little bit and see if we see anything. And then here in a few minutes here, I'll go ahead and swap to my main account and show you that report with Joan of Arc as the rally lead for a rally on the pass. But yeah, I think TR's pretty much got this 254 at least, you know what I mean? It's got this pretty much handled. A lot of their stuff is burning. There's not a lot of resistance, even though there were a lot of kingdoms in this KDK that were against 254, so. 
I'm really just seeing a lot of flags burning, unfortunately. So a lot of these King King's lands just end in like one day lately. It's not a lot of this one's maybe a little over a day. I'm not sure exactly the time period, but it's ending pretty quickly as far as I can tell. Because by the time Peak and the rest of them wake up, they're going to be pretty much cutting these flags to the pass here. Which this one's blocking TR and 254 across here. There's Joan of Arc Rally going for a bubbled city. <laughs> so that was a not gonna happen. Not sure, is that? It is 254. G, I'm not used to the G3 alliance or whatever that is. Or if that's coalition or I'm not sure I'm not used to that one, so that was just a a troll to get them to rally them. Probably was a Joan and Nevsky rally. So we'll go ahead and see where the last action was real fast. I don't think there was anything going on over here, it's just burning probably. Nothing's burning per se right now over here for some reason. Probably because they're over here. Looting this person, zeroing a couple cities. I think this is pretty much in the hands of 254. And this person is completely zeroed, so... Don't think there's any other fighting, so let me go ahead and go back to this home kingdom and show you that report that I had. But, real quick, before that, this is basically this KVK with Kingdom 2000 and the Desert KVK. Not a lot of fighting going on, like I was kind of saying. This is basically our recovery KVK. The only fighting that we have is sitting at this pass waiting for them to come out. So I've literally gotten next to no kills. So I really don't like pass fighting. Like It's probably my least favorite thing to do. So let me go ahead and swap to the main account. And then we'll go ahead and show you that report that I have. And we can kind of judge it from there. And then we'll go back and uh, get ready to spin the wheel at reset. So... Pretty sure this was Ragnar. Could be saying it wrong if there's some other letters on here. This was Lazy at Abo. I can't say his name. But um, Nevsky and... Joan of Arc Prime rally on the level, I think, 7 pass. But here is the main rally report, which is pretty positive for this rally. And most of the troops in this pass are real troops, like actual troops, not siege. There is some siege, but if you scroll through here, I would say somewhere around 80% of these troops are real infantry, real cavalry, archers, all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of mix in here, but it's a lot of real troops. And that kind of makes me feel like I'm not sure why they were using this garrison in the first place with Xeno and YSS, because you should just stick full inf in there and use Flavius. Like, that's what you should be defending the pass with, especially when I doubt they got very many AOE kills against 254 since most of them I'm pretty sure know what they're doing when they're trying to get into 254 but there's a lot of real troops in this which makes this really good for 254 troop buffs here we got 250 attack 196 defense and 102 health for the rally which I would think is obviously pretty good since Joan of Arc really doesn't give very many extra stats so I think that you can't really go too much higher on that, on health, because you're not getting anything from Joan of Arc. And then the garrison, I think, has pretty good stats as well. 100%, over 100% health for infantry, and 200 some percent attack and defense for the infantry as well for this garrison. So, And then I think as long as the all damage is on point, all damage is pretty much on point. I think they might be missing 1% because maybe they got second place in the pre-KVK, which gives them like 2% instead of 3% from this. Iconics are 
pretty much on point. I think that maybe, maybe the garrison didn't have something crit or maybe one iconic's missing because I think you should have all extra, maybe not, it might be good. I'm not sure, it must be mostly all infantry gear because there's some that's missing, but obviously same thing for the other part. But it must be all inf gear, so no kind of other type of gear, so. But for this report, I think that's pretty good. And there's also another good thing on this rally. Now it could have been swarmed or something like that, but this also did really well against the counter rally. And it actually hurt this person swarming with Attila. But I think this rally was really, really well topped off as well, which helps keep from people being able to swarm it down or even counter rally it. So we're gonna keep scrolling here. But there is a counter rally here somewhere. There is the counter rally. It got swarmed, I think, most likely. That or they couldn't um, like reinforce it very well. I really don't see any, a lot of reinforcements for this. So I think it got swarmed. So, but it's that's Attila Nev. So I mean, it, it at least took the rally and didn't like go negative, which is pretty good. Especially if they swarm the rally. I mean, if they swarm the rally, obviously, it's gonna go kapoof pretty fast. But let me see if there's any other uh, counter rally on here, because there was another one that could have been, this rally was a not a super long report, but it was a decent report. So there could be two, maybe. But I think I only saw, there was two. And it still did really well against this counter rally. I still think they swarmed it though. Excuse me. Because I, I just don't feel like that Attila got really going on this rally and got a really good reinforcement train because it just, this rally was topped off all the time. So I think that's what caused most of the damage back to this other rally was simply that the, the 254 rally was just really, really well topped off. So we'll keep scrolling, but I think that's pretty much all of this report, but I think they did swarm it a few times because there's no, well, there is AOE on this rally, but they're, they obviously swarmed it because there's sevs on both sides. So it obviously can take a swarm and it is fairly, fairly tanky. I wouldn't say it's super tanky, but I think that the, the gear on this rally is like top tier. So that also helps a lot. So let's see. Still scrolling here. No one's really getting any extra deads from this, which I mean, if he was swarming a till or something, it hurt a lot more. The garrison must have gotten out. But swarming with, well, that was probably mostly AoE <laughs> or a mistake. Another counter rally. So this was a lot longer report than I thought it was. There was a second, another counter rally. This one must have got better reinforcements or they didn't swarm it because it did get trade. And this is what I would expect to see for a counter rally against a basically not a really super tanky counter attack rally. So I would expect to see more of these and I'm assuming they just didn't swarm it because like the other ones. So this is a, actually a pretty long report more than I thought it was, but this does count this counter rally or the rally does have a decent amount of counter attack, but X, Y, Nev can still cause some pain to this rally. Like I'm saying, this is a much longer report than I thought it was, but it's obviously like the, one of the first reports for a pass rally. Like since like, it was like last night, like right after recent. So this person, Instamax, Joan of Arkin just went ahead and did it. So we got about five more minutes until we got reset. So once reset hits, we'll go ahead and finish off our last few spins for Joan of Arc and see what we can do. Um, for my main account here though, I'm probably gonna go ahead and skip Joan of Arc because there's no real need for me to max her on this account or even do her even slightly because there is like archers can be coming here pretty soon. So I just don't see the point in doing Joan of Arc if I need to be able to max the next archers because I may have shown you guys this before, but I finally got my archer set done other than obviously the accessories, but I'm never gonna get that done, probably not. So I still haven't decided if I'm doing 
cavalry or archer next. Um, cavalry or infantry next, sorry, um, for a set because I'm thinking of doing Xeno and something else, but I haven't really decided that yet. So it could be cavalry since I do have the cavalry helm crit, but I could also work on the imp set since I have the possibility of getting this crit, the pants crit for legendary really easily. And then I can just do Xeno and Flav or whatever the next imp is. Um, I should be able to have enough heads to max whatever comes next. I have like 350, yeah, 350 right now. So I should have enough to do that. Gear wise is obviously gonna be not as good, but I'll go ahead and swap back here since we got a couple more minutes and then we'll go ahead and spin the wheel again. We'll go ahead and summon Joan of Arc and then we'll go ahead and just like see what we can do with her, level her skills up a little bit, see where we've gotten. And then we'll go ahead and craft the gear and then we'll go ahead and see what else we can do. So let's see here. Last few things till reset. I would try to get like some pass fighting going on with Joan of Arc this evening. But like I was saying, I really don't like it. I'd really dislike, load please. Uh, I really dislike pass fighting. And it's just this pass fight over here. Which is just like Bacall Heralds and all that kind of stuff, so. Everybody's just standing around right now. It's just so, so sad. We do have like the two, like zone sevens right now. And the King's Land for Desert KVK, if you guys didn't know, is absolutely tiny. Like it's so small. <laughs> it's so, so small. Like I don't even know how you're supposed to fit like even a couple, even part of an alliance in this tiny, tiny area. It's so small. But we're pretty much going to have the King's Land. I don't, like, we're going to easily cap King's Land because we capped all these fortresses, which is the only other way you can kind of look at these is tapping that fortress icon and you can kind of switch to that. But overall, I think Desert Conquest is, like, the best recovery KVK because you're basically doing next to nothing if your opponent is not very good. So... That's why I think this we're going to be doing a pretty good recovery on this KVK. My research here is not that great right now, but I'm working on it. Obviously, I'm not really worried about it because I'm not fighting. But um, let's see here. I didn't actually finish Ian's ballads because they all quit on me last minute <laughs> on the last boss, and it sucks so bad. But we'll go ahead and open some keys too, since I have some keys here. Not a lot, but maybe we'll get some materials so that we can get a little bit less on our boxes and stuff that we have to use that, which I'm sure we will. I pretty much need all the gold key commanders right now on this account. I don't think I've maxed any of them. I think the one I want most though is Mulan because I could use her with Trajan if I decide to still use Trajan, so. And you know, when you want something, you don't even get one. <laughs> so, got some stars at least, but did not get very good results here. Pretty much stuff I don't really even want, so. I think I might be able to put a skill on one of my other ones, but I'm not sure. We'll have to go ahead and check and see if we can get any skills on them. We got 39 crystal keys. We'll see if we get any epic or legendary materials out of this. We got an epic blueprint, but no epic or legendary materials, which kind of sucks. But I need the materials anyways for the crafting we're gonna do here in a few minutes. Seems like it hit reset, so we'll go ahead and check to see if there's any new events to look over. I kind of don't think so. I think the new stuff's just Warpath and some things like that that may have been going on already yet. It was so Let's 
see. Everything else is pretty much the same as far as I can tell. So go ahead and grab our daily stuff and then we'll go ahead and start spinning the wheel again until we hit 100. And then we'll go ahead and summon Joan of Arc, show her skill off and then we'll go ahead and craft the gear. So we'll go ahead and get started on the wheel again. Just some food. <laughs> Really, really hoping for an eight spot. Like, I really, really at least at least one eight spot is all I really, really want. So, stars that I well, I do need stars because I'm going to be leveling up a lot of commanders probably here pretty soon. Universal's pretty good. More stone. Always need more resources and some gold. Just an okay spin. I think the best spin we've had so far is like four gold heads. So. We can not do that on an A spot and like do like a 10 spot overall, like 10 gold heads, that'd be really, really good. Just some stars though. And building speed ups. We always need the building speed ups, don't we? I still don't have all my buildings maxed, but so it's not the end of the world, but really, really want an eight spot, please. Yes, got an eight spot. At least we got at least one eight spot. I just want one eight spot because if I don't get an eight spot, then it's kind of like a burning of gems that I didn't need to burn. So, did get an 8 spot, got 9 here. So this is like the best spin we got so far, which really helps me out. I won't be maxing Joan of Arc, simply because I don't think she needs to be maxed. But, getting more heads for her means another 8 spot. That's really, really good. So we got two 8 spots on this second time around. So, that's really, really good. I'm really excited that we got that, because they saves me more and more heads. So another nine sculptures, so that's really, really good. And it makes up for the ones that we kind of sucked at earlier <laughs> where we got zero. But we'll go ahead and see if we get any more gold heads here. And then we'll go ahead and summon her up and see what her skill looks like and stuff like that. And show you guys, if you haven't seen it yet already, what it kind of looks like. It's got two more gold heads and I think research speed ups, which is fine. We need them for KVK anyways. I think I kind of ran a little bit low on either building or research speed ups as KVK. So more speed ups I get of any kind is pretty much good. Other than building, I think building I just don't care about. <laughs> but three gold heads so far is three gold heads all together is pretty good. So we got about one to two more. We're going to do probably one more five spin and just end it off with that. Since we're doing pretty good on these last few spins here. So we got two gold heads, which is pretty good for Joan of Arc on this one. We're definitely doing much better on these five spins than we did the last time. So hopefully we can get some decent heads here all together. I think we got 15 last time and we already outdid that in two spins on this one. So, um, much happier with this set of spins than the last one. So we'll go ahead and double check that we, we already did we got 56 in total. So we had like, I think it was like 30 or 40 extra heads from that last one. So we got probably a good 20 something heads on this one. So we'll go ahead and grab the extra rewards for this extra 10 gold heads and it's like 15, uh, Joan of Arc heads. So that's going to be the end of the like spinning for the day because I need to save the gems up for next week. So we got overall 70 heads, which I think is probably a pretty average set of spins, especially since it got two eight spots, which helps me out a lot. So we'll go ahead and summon her up. Joan of Arc Prime, which I think I'm going to pair her. I really haven't decided. It's either going to be XY, Nesky. Or maybe Saladin is my like pair with Joan of Arc. I'm gonna have to kind of do a little bit of testing on my own once I get her to like five five something something. Um, five five one five is what I want, but I don't know if I'm gonna spend that many heads right away because I want to spin the next one. And if I can get at least, I say at least half the sculptures I have now, I don't really want to waste any more on her if I need to do some other commanders. So we'll go ahead and level her skill up to five. I think I have enough for that. There's pretty decent amount of sculptures for this time. I think that was 
pretty good if we can get that skill at least five it's pretty good and then we'll go ahead and level her up to i think probably like far enough that we can get all the skills unlocked without like going all over the place <laughs> should have plenty of experience for this so we're gonna go ahead and try to do that special thing which i think i need to do like this Try to get her four star on one, which I'm probably doing this wrong, but go ahead and try. Definitely can't do that. Go ahead and try to do this. Don't think that's enough, to be honest. I think it needs to be I could be doing this completely wrong. I think it needs to be something like this, and I have to hope that I can get it. So we'll go ahead and try it, see if we get it. Actually got our four star, so that's how you do four star. Actually, I've never done that before. So that saved me some stars, at least for next time and for any other commanders, I gotta get to 60. Because she will probably only go up to 40 for me, unless for some reason I need to put her primary but I don't proceed doing that because I don't I don't think I'm gonna need to. And then for talents, since she's support tree, I'm gonna definitely do rejuvenate at least two out of three and emergency protection all the way done. But if I don't put her primary, it doesn't even matter. But we may try our primary here and there to try and see what it's gonna be like and things like that. But we'll go ahead and pull her out with Nevsky as a primary and just kind of show her skill off real fast and I'll pull a march back like I should have done already <laughs> but we'll go ahead and do that and show her skill and then we'll go ahead and craft the gear that we were going to craft for this stream we'll go ahead and do it's going to take a little bit for me to kill a, a level 50 barb anyways I don't think I can but we'll go ahead and just show this off and see how it goes I think it's a pretty big active skill. So, got Nesky skill and then Joan of Arc. She's like an XY AoE, maybe slightly bigger. And then if you guys kind of look around, she just double cast, even though it's only 10% <laughs> chance for her to double cast, but she did double cast there, which is what I think is going to be really good about her. I'm actually defeating this bar. I didn't expect that because I actually am using T5, which does help, but. That's basically what her skill is. You don't have to be, you have to pay attention because there's a, a slight circle AOE after the skill goes off that you see. And that's kind of the area of effect that like the all damage buff that she does and the, I think it's rage buff that she gives. That's where it's gonna kind of be is that light height hazing kind of circle. So you have to kind of keep her in that, all your, your five marches in that. So you should be pretty easily do that. Shouldn't have to move them away or anything like that. So that's basically her skills, what it looks like right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and craft a little bit of gear here. Just two things I think for today. I could craft dagger, but I'm kind of waiting on that because I wanna kind of get my gear in order at least to the, at least a little bit until I do the dagger. I really should do dagger, but I think right now I need to finish the set and then kind of upgrade my basically my greens on one of my cast sets to epics at least so we're gonna go ahead and craft the weapon here and I think because I have so many of the like pieces and stuff we're gonna go ahead and dismantle the two like greens on here and upgrade them because they're extremely cheap but it's free leather that I can use for this this forge here so it's gonna cost me a lot of leather and not a lot of anything else but this finishes up my basically my calf set because i'm gonna basically craft this rifle probably five times um so what's your question go ahead and ask it if you want tristan if i say your name right You can go ahead and ask your question if you're ready. 
But um, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and craft this here real fast. Then I'll wait on your question and see what you have. But I've got a lot of materials here. I need to actually go real quick. Just double check. There's no. Pretty sure we got everything done. So we'll see if we have enough materials to do anything else. I'm not sure that we do. But this will like upgrade my setup. So we're going to craft this here and see if we get a special talent. Double tech checking that this is the right equipment. If we get a special talent, it'd be really, really nice. But no special talent. That's okay. That's okay. But we'll go ahead and equip that to this set here and upgrade that up to full legendary. Upgrade this out into an epic piece and see how that goes. And then we'll see if we have enough pants. If we don't, that's okay. I think we do though. So we'll go and craft these pants too. Yeah. So I need help figuring out how to apply for special migration. So are you going back to KVK2 or are you applying for like an Imperium KVK? Basically what you're gonna do to apply for any kind of migration to a kingdom is all you have to do is scroll out Click on the globe at the bottom right and whatever kingdom you're going to which let's see if we can find real quick an imperium because that might be what you're looking at i don't know i think all you have to do is hit immigrate here and it'll ask you to apply which i'm in kvk i have to apply. i can't do that but i think all you have to do oh back to kvk2 um, so what's going to happen is once the KVK2 gets out of like their KVK, let's see if there's, there should be off season ones here. There was 30 spots that you can do, which I'm thinking these ones, you have to do it right after KVK1. Um, let's see here. Trying to figure out which one. That's way too new. I'm pretty sure this is. I don't know if I can exactly show it to you because some of these kingdoms might be not might not be the right time. But basically, what you're gonna do. So all you have to do is basically like hit the immigrate button as far as I know. And it's going to give you like you've applied to migrate, but you can't migrate because the caps like too high or too low. You know what I mean? I'm going to see if say I can't show you because I, I don't fulfill the requirements, which there's zero out of 30 on here. Which one was that I clicked on? I think it was these. So the only time that you can apply to migrate is when this, this thing, this red zero, it has to be 30. So what you're going to have to do is basically, um, either contact the king of the kingdom and ask them to migrate and you can see if they have special tickets. The only way you can apply to do a special ticket is if they still have them, I believe. But all you have to do is hit this migrate button, this immigrate button, actually. And it's going to basically give you, as far as I know, it's going to give you the, like the apply to migrate here if you can migrate. Because there's no like actual button to click that's like, I don't think there's one that says apply. I can't remember right. Um, it's either going to be a button that says apply to migrate when they're like open. Or it's going to say like register to migrate, register to immigrate here. I'm not sure if Season of Conquest says this. I know you can register. Let me check. Let me check something else real fast. Um, let's see. Let's check something else real fast. Since I'm thinking you might be able to do it a different way too. Let's just go to kingdom real fast. Yeah, I. They have to have a ticket. Like, you only have a couple tickets to be able to do a special migration. KVK2 have 30 and you may have 
I, I don't want to say you have um, like extra ones. Like sometimes Imperiums have three. I think it's three. I don't know. I was thinking you may be able to do it on the Lost Temple, but maybe you can't. Um, maybe that's because you can do it as king like that. Yeah, so it's you basically hit the register button, and then the king, what he does, he, she, what they're going to do is look through a list on the Lost Temple. Because when you go to the Lost Temple, you can see... Um, let me go ahead and go to my other account real fast um, and show you. The king is going to basically scroll through the Lost Temple and approve you if you have somebody registered. And KVK2 has a cap of 30 people. So you're really going to have to be like in contact with the people that you're wanting to go to because, let me see here, should say immigration. And there's these people here that are going to say special immigration chances remaining. Basically this king, the king of the kingdom can accept people and it depends on how many tickets you have. And I can't tell you if it's 30 for KVK2 or if it's like 33 because I know you can get an extra couple depending on things. You have permission to special migrate, but since ticket isn't available, it won't let me apply for now. The problem is you're gonna have to, literally the, the time that the kingdom opens for KVK2, you're gonna have to be on. Like you have to be on as soon as that kingdom opens to migrate, you have to be ready to go because those 30 spots can be filled up by farms. So you guys have to be on point for a KVK2. I, just so you understand, like you have to be on point for that. I I don't like it. I You can go check my migration video. I kind of talked about it. Um, but you have to make sure that you are um, like on point for migration because it can be taken by farms for the KVK2 and 3. Because they have 30 spots and that's it. So... Unfortunately, that's kind of how it goes. But I knew, like you're saying, there is a register button, so you should be able to register for it before they become available for migration. But I would just double check you can't migrate. Um, contact the king and see if they have any spots. If they don't have any spots, you're unfortunately out of luck. Um, KVK2 is very hard to get into right now. So we'll go ahead and go back to what we were doing, but I hope that helps you a little bit. Um, it's just very hard to get back to KVK2 anymore. They basically have said, we don't want you going back. And they put a pretty hard cap on that going back, especially since farms can take it, which is pretty bad. I, I don't like it. I've complained about it, but they haven't fixed it. And that's just the way it is. But we're gonna go ahead and craft the Ash of the Dawn. Ash of the Dawn. We do have one crafted already. And we're probably going to be crafting up to five of these. So eventually we're going to get a special talent on this. But we don't know. I don't know when it will be. <laughs> it would be nice if it's now. It would be amazing. But we'll go ahead and craft this because I'm upgrading basically one of my other sets to these legendary pants. And putting the epic pants on one of my other commanders. So we still have enough stone and mostly I think it's... Ebony that's gonna get most of this so this might be all my materials I'm not <laughs> I, I haven't counted I honestly didn't think I had enough for this excuse me so if we can get a crit here it'd be really really nice I think it's like 15 or something percent health which is pretty good but either way we'll get it eventually so in three two one craft ow no this account's not very lucky <laughs> But that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna craft this five times, so eventually we'll get the crit. So this is the set that we gotten done here for my like. This is what the set's gonna be pretty much because I don't have enough materials to do the legendary KVK weapons. So um, that's just gonna how it's gonna have to be. But we're gonna upgrade probably this set but since it's so it's getting closer to being done to the legendary pants that aren't on Attila. So this is what basically I'm gonna keep building these sets. But another thing I'm gonna work on is accessories because I don't have very many. <laughs> but I've got like these two that are on Attila, the ring, 
unfortunately the coin and then I also have the web so next thing on the chopping block would be dagger but I was kind of wanting to upgrade this set from greens because if I'm gonna be using four maybe five calf sets I need to have at least epics to be using it or it's pretty pitiful because my Trajan sets blues and purple but my Guan is <laughs> blues because I'm using Scipio and Guan and I plan to do like a 5551 five, Scipio maybe Maxim but I haven't decided that yet because I don't really like infantry on this account because I have all cab equipment like it's all legendary cab equipment so I'd like to do five cab marches but I also like the silence and I like the AoE and all that stuff so we'll see if we have any more materials but I think I'm out and I am out of materials I thought I was out so that's pretty much all the crafting we're going to be able to do for this stream and that's pretty much all we've got for Joan of Arc right now um, for anybody else joining the stream really fast I'll go ahead and flash the report that I had on the screen here in a second once I can grab it because I'm on the wrong account but we got it I have a 254 pass rally and I'll go ahead and show that to you and then we'll go ahead and wrap up the stream um, I'll go ahead and stream again probably maybe some other day this week maybe if there's any kind of KVK fighting on going on because I fixed my issue with the like my stream having issues because it was a bad cable, and for some reason my cables go bad really, really fast, which causes me issues. But this is a 254 rally on the CC34 level, I think seven pass, the one in Kingsland, maybe level eight, I'm not sure. Um, it's for Strife, so they're a little bit different. But this is a really, really good rally for a pass rally, since it's doing just a lot of skill damage. I don't know that they swarm this rally too heavily hard, I think they did it over time, like I was kind of saying. Um, I'm not going to scroll all the way through the report because it's a very long report. But this is the overall report and the buffs really quickly as we scroll through this. Since they're pretty much even on buffs, pretty good rally and garrison here. Not a lot of siege in this pass, so I think they just didn't do so well um, reinforcing it. Or using um, Xeno and YSS just isn't that great, so... Go ahead and swap back but that's that's the report if you didn't see it already um you can check back on the live stream if you want me to scroll through the whole thing but it's a really long report there's like three rallies on that uh rally on the pass so it's a fairly decent rally but we went ahead and gonna do a recap real quick we went ahead and got joan of arc all the way up to five one 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 gonna probably do her five five one five because I think the third skill just sucks. It just it just sucks. Like, one second for 30% all damage is just not very exciting to me. I know there's some all damage there, but it says cab damage bonus, so I don't even know if that's all damage. It might be just attack <laughs> and counter attack or something. I'm not sure. Um, they have some funky wording here. So, 5-5-1-5 five, five, five I think is what I'm going to do. And... Then we're going to go ahead and do Honda 5551, Scipio 5551, and some things like that on this account. But I'm not going to do it just yet because I still have gems to spin some wheels. I'd like to get a little more sculptures and things like that. But I think I have somewhere around 620, 630, six, almost 630 heads. So we could max Joan of Arc maybe right now, but I'm not going to do that. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. Feel free to go back on it and watch any other part of it because we did the full Joan of Arc wheel, did some crafting. If you missed any of it, feel free to scroll back. So don't forget to like the stream, subscribe if you haven't already, and we're going to go ahead and wrap the stream up. So thank you guys for watching this stream, and I'll see you guys on the next one.